January Around the World by Ellis O'Keefe, art by Linda Finch. In Sydney, Australia, January is very sunny. That's because Australia is the southern part of the earth where the sun is strongest during our winter. Abby and Kai like to go to the beach and watch the surfers ride the waves. Today they have a barbie or barbecue with their mates from school. Wouldn't it be fun to spend winter in your swimsuit? In the Lapland region of Finland, January is very cold and dark. Here the sun doesn't come out for months in the winter. Una and Marcus ride their dog sleds past a reindeer farm. Their husky dogs go fast, even in the thick snow. At night, a swirling of glowing colors lights up the sky, the Aurora Borealis, or Northern Lights. The lights are bright enough to help Una, Marcus, and the dogs see their way home. Even though January in Montreal, Canada is very cold, people love to go outside and have fun in the snow. Hugo and Jean-Marc go with their dad to the Fête de Neige, the festival of snow. There are ice skaters on a frozen pond, and look, on the hill is the snow slide, a roller coaster covered with snow. There's so much to do, but first Hugo and Jean-Marc try out cross-country skiing on a trail. Later they'll have some chocolat chaud, hot chocolate, to warm up. In the city of Naswa in the Bahamas, January is warm, perfect for a noisy and colorful outdoor festival. Julian and Indira go with their mom and dad to Junkanoo, a New Year's Day festival celebrating freedom. People rush to the streets singing and dancing, dressed up in wild costumes. Everyone competes for the craziest outfit. Who do you think should win? Julian has brought his drum to play, and others blow trumpets or shake bells. At Junkanoo, everyone joins the party.